So give us the um, bird's eye view from the banker's seat in terms of what these last couple of weeks have been in terms of trying to help some of your customers um, and also maybe potentially dealing with their frustrations as they were um, trying to get some help or get in line for some help. Well, let me say the times that we're in today are unprecedented. And the whole uh, government program, the Paycheck uh, Protection Program, it has been unprecedented. It is a program that is channeling close to 600 billion in funds here across the country and in New Jersey. And the banks, commercial banks, savings banks, credit unions have all stepped up to help their customers. It's really been a remarkable task. There has been frustration, but I think the second tranche that recently started on Monday has been going very smoothly across the country and here in New Jersey. Um, in terms of kind of the, the amount of need in New Jersey, how would you kind of describe the state of affairs for your customers right now as they struggle with this shutdown? With businesses here in New Jersey, they've been under tremendous pressure. The retail businesses, the hotels, the restaurants, it has been very, very difficult for them. They're worried about their employees. When the SBA program first rolled out, the uh, PPP program in early April, it was a very difficult time. People were frustrated that they weren't they were having to lay off people. It was impacting families. And the concern was very high. Uh, we were able to work with our customers, and I'm proud to say we were able to fund all our customers through the second tranche. You know, 1,850 customers and close to 340 million in, pay, in uh, payment uh, proceeds to our customers to help them through this crisis. Wow, that's amazing. So just to clarify, that's the tranche we're in now that you're referring to? Correct. We were able to fund 1,850 customers over a 33 hour period, Monday into Tuesday, working wow, around the clock. And we um, had 150 people working on this project for two weeks. We started without an SBA platform, working with fintechs, partnering with our technology teams inside and outside the company, and we're able to get up going and execute very well in the second tranche. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing. It was. It was I tell you, it's a load because we helped a lot of not-for-profits across the board, restaurants, uh, logistic companies, uh, not-for-profits, high schools, all these different uh, industries where people were trying to help their employees through this crisis. How are banks going to be instrumental as we move kind of past the crisis phase into the reopening phase? There's been a lot of chatter out there about how some of these businesses are gonna need working capital and you know, kind of they're getting funded now, but it's gonna be a long road back. So how do you think the process might change with the lending community as we get to the point where we're moving forward beyond crisis? Yeah, I don't think the process is gonna change. I think it'll be very similar the way New Jersey came back from Sandy. Now I'm not comparing Hurricane Sandy with this crisis because this is far worse, but I think the recovery that we had through the uh, Sandy, the storm Sandy was, was robust. And I think when things get moving, this recovery could be more robust. Um, I'm not expecting it to happen you know, in the near future, but I think through the end of the second, of the, of the third quarter, hopefully we'll be in good speed and, and moving forward. What's going to be the biggest challenge for a company like yours moving forward? I think the employee and customer issues, getting people back to work, getting people to feel comfortable, uh, and, and, and really trying to be a good corporate citizen. I just got off our earnings call, and I said it's time for bankers and the banking industry to show that we're the heart and soul of capitalism. And we can be leaders in the community that help the small businesses, help the mid-sized companies get back on their feet and get this economy back to where it was in February. Well, that's interesting. Let me challenge you on that. How do you do that uh, specifically? Do you mean um, maybe extending higher credit lines or modifying loans or, um, cause you have to worry about your own risk as a bank. Correct. Well, luckily again, the partnership, the government and the private sector, with the payment, uh, the, the paycheck uh, uh, payroll protection program. There's a partnership where our regulators have allowed us 
to defer loan payments for up to three months for more residential business loans and real estate, commercial real estate loans. We have close to three and a half billion of deferrals that we've agreed with our customers to help them through this crisis. That's providing them with the necessary liquidity to keep their employees employed and to continue to manage their business as they move through this crisis. Thank you.